In this fourth segment, we'll look at our last two chords in the key of G major. They are E minor and F sharp diminished. For the E minor, we'll be going to the seventh fret of the fifth string and playing our minor shape. So we've got seventh fret, fifth string, going to the fifth fret and ninth fret on the fourth string, and fifth fret and eighth fret on the second string. For the F sharp diminished, we'll be on the ninth fret of the fifth string. We'll do our diminished shape. So that's ninth fret, fifth string, going to the seventh and tenth on the fourth string, and seventh and tenth on the second string. So for the practice application of this, you would want to go through each of these chord forms, take it through different keys, find your root notes, smooth it out with your picking. And a lot of times you'll just want to be very repetitious on one form. So if you take your major, just put it on one and, and use a metronome and just keep it really even. For a musical application then, we'd want to pick a chord progression and outline it with these arpeggios. So for our purposes here, let's uh, do a minor key. Let's go with E minor. We'll play an E minor arpeggio. Then we'll go to an A minor, which is in the same position. And then a cool thing to do in a minor key is to take the three chord and make it major. So we'll play a B major rather than a B minor. And then we'll go up a half step and play a C diminished. So we'll use our diminished shape on C. And then that'll get us ready to go back to E minor again. So we'll play each of these twice. So you play it slowly at first, work it up with a metronome, and as your pick and your left hand get more comfortable, you can start adding some speed to it and getting it a little bit more fluid. And we'll look at a little bit more challenging application even in our next segment. Intro starts on the low E string and it goes like this. So then it's the B, A, and see I, I keep this uh, B string ringing on the G throughout the whole thing. <laughs> 